Hello and welcome back to Perfectly Calm Gaming, where today we have to find out who killed this man in cold blood. I'm going in the alley. Because I bet there's some shit back in this alley. Like this newspaper. Oh. Oh, oh shoot! Didn't see that coming. Oh, 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 oh. So. Oh. Looks like the man was stabbed, stumbled into the road, and yeah. then got hit by the car. And that's why there's blood already on the ground right from the impact. This is not a kitchen. Want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they back the knife. Can you read what that said on the handle? No, it wasn't really giving me the option to read it. Oh. I doubt it. Ah, fine, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> I doubt it. Alright, fine. I Shit. Guess you're the detective now. God. Fine then, Bukowski. I'll take the back seat and you could run this case for a change. Bitch. God. Do you want to check this garbage chip? Nope. Alright, I kind of have a feeling that that's the only thing I really needed to find Probably. for that night. Yeah. Well, that definitely adds to the mystery. Ooh! I like mystery. Yeah. Alright, let's go oh. talk to this bro. Alright, Brad. There are still more clues, though, because we're still going. Yes? I'm Detective yes? Phelps. Yes? This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. So, Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Oh, you're a Southern Belle, aren't you? Alright. You're just like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounded like truth to me. Yeah, and she's like staring us straight in the eye. She's kind of got like that one eye's like kind of a tiny bit lazy because her eyelid won't come open as much, <laughs> but that was the yeah. truth. Yeah. I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Alright, alright, alright. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Yeah, sounded pretty legit to me. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Sounds legit. Oh, yeah, you don't. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. Okay. A man and a woman. That's all. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna doubt that. Yeah, no reason to say she's lying, but no. a doubt. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I love how fucking angry we get so quickly. I'm story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress. Man's been murdered, you bitch. Yeah, come on, don't be selfish. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. You have a small penis! <laughs> Your information has been I'm going to cut it off! <laughs> ah! you think so? I could use a scalpel! Put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Sounds good. I'll take Bukowski the looks like such a shit I know. And he's awesome. <laughs> I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. <laughs> Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Yeah, see, we just get Where so pissy so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson home. Alright, alright, alright. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. A little bit of doubt. Yeah, see, his face is kind of. Eh. So, what was he yeah. doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Lester and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. I got you. I understand. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Yeah, truth. Yeah. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but. Not my kind of special. All right. Was Lester drinking alone? Lester was a retard. No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. All right, all right. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. 
There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? That seemed pretty truthful. Yeah, go for it. What uh, was it about? Oh, God. Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Damn it. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrol. Yeah. Sure. Because I definitely didn't have anything that kind of... You get anything out of No, I guess I could have used her they weren't witness account much away. if she was they lying. Like but he didn't really seem like and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. All right. I got you. Tell me there's a phone. Should I call him? I don't know why I need to call him on the phone right now, though. Operator, give me R&I. <laughs> Do it. What does R&I stand for? Uh, Belt's bed, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a place. Like Elvis. Three Charles Eight. Cross-check possible Lincoln owner. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. There's only one person who owns that. Only one possible make on that license. <laughs> Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Oh, you are amazing. Nowadays, yeah. I have a partial license plate. Like, well, we've got like 65 vehicles just in your district alone. <laughs> All right, what's back here? Shit. So this is why everybody comes to raids. Ooh, illegal poker games. I could shut down this place so fast. Do it. I'm going to go back out there. I see what you did. I see what you've done. All right, this so, you like playing chips, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey! You like playing poker, see? <laughs> I see what you are f flying the cards. I'll be like, what does that mean? Don't be what guy. the shit? Did you see how yeah, fast I was, just... Yeah, that was impressive. That's like double my height. I just fucking <laughs> flew over that like a goddamn apple. She totally like... <laughs> came over and she's like, oh, Yeah, you're a wise guy, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a wise guy, see? Try to play me for a fool. Take me for a ride, are you? Huh? I don't uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you drive to this one? Okay. Oh, should we go to... <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Which Good. one was Patterson? Patterson is... The dead guy? Yeah, the dead guy, so it would be his wife. Or we can go to Shelton, who's the guy who probably ran him over. And then Race Cafe is the place you just are right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'd go to the Patterson residence first. Okay. Off we go. Get in and drive. Shut up and drive, 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 drive. Is that a song? Yeah, that's where we are. Um... <laughs> Song. Oh. Oh. Sounds like a horrible song. 0 to 16, 3.5. You got the keys. Shut up and drive, drive, drive. Now that you said more of it, that's that sound familiar. Oh, 455 AM. Let's like, wake this bitch up. <laughs> I don't give a shit. My husband's dead. I need my sleep. I need my sleep. Knock, knock, knock. What? Yes? She looks Hello. good for someone at 455. Mm. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? She seems like a cold, hard bitch. Whoa, she's got some perky ass tits. Oh. Are going to investigate the place first? I guess so. Doing some investigations. Looking around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Around at your private things, maybe looking at things you don't want me to see, like your dirty I'm ass dishes that's disgusting, and your lean things dropping. Uh, uh, oh, she's uh, missing uh, the knife, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, she's uh, maybe, the knife. maybe, maybe there's a problem with the knife. There's a newspaper over there that I can't reach. Fuck. You missing a knife, bitch? Hey, bitch, why are you missing a knife? Did you stab him? You stab him before you got hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're playing poker here too, huh? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to. Unless I want to smash throw it over right, yeah, he's head. Throw it at the wall. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> you also that? <coughs> Tell me. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, I can only go through this door. Oh, 
locked. It's locked. Like, like bitch, bitch, lock the door. Why do you have a locked door? Do you understand who I am? I am part of. Can you tell me what happened? LAPD. What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. Yeah, she seems crazy. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in '44. Cool. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. Nice. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you... You're a gold digger. I have someone here. I beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Ooh. Nice to see your comforting widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. I see. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sappho? We're friends. Good friends. We're fuck buddies. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. You're probably a cruel son of a bitch. Cool about that. No, I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? <laughs> I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. All right, here we go. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. So much doubt. Oh, I know. But do I have any evidence that can, if I were under a lie? Oh, the insurance letter. Mm. To get the money. I can't use that now. She has a face that you just kind of want to slap. Okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. But the chest ornament wound, uh, the ornament wounds in his chest. But then that also doesn't make sense, because we saw in the video, of course, it doesn't it hit from behind. Yeah, it hit from the side. But, like, that's why probably why there's a knife there. It really gets stabbed. Yeah. So, uh, I probably just doubt it. Yeah. Because I don't think I really have evidence to... You expect me to believe that, it's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. A hophead? He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Yep, good. Yep, all right. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We're always arguing. So what? Oh, such a lying sack of shit. Yeah, but once again... You overheard the lie, but you couldn't really see exactly what it was about, other yeah. than it was personal. It was personal stuff. So, I don't know, I think you might just have to doubt that one again. Admit it. Yep. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. Good call, We can Good easily call. get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. Yeah, he was. Of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. So you stabbed him. Mr. Sabo, have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> Guy offered his wife up, his wife's sex up for a card game bet. You mean you wouldn't? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, like, I'd be pissed if I were her, too. Yeah. Oh, it's telling me to phone it in. Except, I probably don't have to phone it in. Oh, I think he's going to make me drive. Alright, the phone's further up. Uh, you're about to become <laughs> part of the investigation. I don't think I need it, though. No, you're just going to go to the, uh, yeah, the shelter residence. Yeah. This is the address of the car. Weeeees! My turn to drive! Oh, he's nice and close. Right, well, when we get there, we're gonna have to continue this next time. So we're gonna go bust whoever this Mr. Shelton is, motherfucker. Next time, I'm perfectly calm noir. 
Okay, guys.